Hey everybody, welcome back to another Gun Bunnies Let's Play brought to you by me, Test 710 your guide through this wonderful world that is Torchlight. Um, as everyone knows, it's a role-playing game based on Diablo. Uh, it basically was released in order to um, satiate everybody's thirst for uh, Diablo's isometric, uh, constant clicky type action game. So... Um, yeah, so everybody's running around saying, Oh, it's just a Diablo clone, blah, blah, blah. That's the point. That's what it was made for. Um, it was developed by Runic Games, released for Windows in October 2009. Following this digital release, um, a Windows retail box version was released by Encore Incorporate. Encore Incorporate, yeah. Encore or Encore. Incorporated for the US in January 2010 and Joe Wood Entertainment for Europe in April 2010. A port for the Mac OS uh, X was developed, but it's hard to get excited about that one. Uh, development this game was led by Travis. Uh, fuck, I've just scrolled his name, I can't read it. I think it's Bulkery. No, it's not Bulkery, that sounds really lame. Uh, basically, the designer of Fate. Uh, and Max Schaefer and Eric Schaefer, co designers of Diablo and Diablo 2. Yeah, you get it now. Yeah, it is a Diablo clone. It's supposed to be a Diablo clone. Yeah. Um, the game uses the Ogre graphics engine, uh, which stands for Object Orientated um, Graphics Rendering Engine. Uh, it's not double O. It's just a single O. It's O G R E. Uh, the Object Orientated is hyphenated, which sounds really gay. Um, it's not a well-known engine. Um, it's only been in probably what. Most people would recognize it from uh, Pacific Storm. Uh, a lot of people recognize it from Ank uh, or Zero Gear, depending on what you like. Um, and a lot of people don't know that was used in Rigs of Rod, that uh, Rigs of Rods, that indie game that was released uh, late last year, I think it was. But basically, you just go out and control shitloads of randomly different vehicles and stuff like that, as you would in real life. Okay, let's get on with it. I'm going to play Destroyer, because Destroyer is something I've not played before. I'm going to pick a dog, and I'm going to call him Mittens. That's more of a cat name, isn't it? Yeah. I don't play cats normally. I play with dogs. Um, right. Um, easy mode is unbelievably easy. Normal mode is really easy, so I'm going to be going for hard mode. Um, I've completed it already on normal, and by the time I got to about level 30, I, I was like, fuck it now, this is boring as fuck. So I'm going to be playing on hard. Uh, hardcore, basically, if you die, your character is no longer usable, it's just basically the same as deleting it. So, um, yeah, only do that if you're just going to go for a quick fucking one too. But as I said, I'm going to be playing on hard. It's a pretty simple, straightforward game. I have game. always been a wanderer. I have roamed these lands for as long as I can remember. But my blades always lead me back to conflict. When I heard of the evils befalling Torchlight, I returned from the wilderness. Tales of madness townsfolk slain or missing, and a darkness rising from the deep. It was inevitable that I was drawn to this place. My blades would not be still. So I made the long journey. I arrived at sunset, and while things at first seemed simple, I did not know then the shadows I would face, and the terrible power gathering far below the surface. I would discover them in time. Cool beans, eh? So basically, this is your interface. Pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, this is the town of Torchlight, where we start off. Over here is our pet information. Um, I don't really use the pet for combat. I don't need to use the pet for combat. I just basically use him to carry all my shit that I want to sell. Excuse me. <coughs> Got a bit cold at the minute. Um, simple as health, mana. Pause the game. Um, what's that? Oh yeah, toggle item, which is normally Alt. Click it in, and it permanently turns it on, which is really handy. Uh, your left and right click actions, um, and all the crap along the top. Continue in between your skills. Um, 
I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing at the minute. Um, I've not really played much of the Destroyer, but we'll have a look, quick look at his skills. We've got Slash Attack, attacks all foes in front of you with all equipped weapon. We start that as default, it's just that, it's pretty cool. Dual wielding improves damage of all weapons when dual wielding. Um, I'm thinking I might be just using two handed weapons, because two handed weapons are cool. Uh, and then we've got Stampede, a brutal forward dash that damages all foes in path. Adventurer improves the potency of potions, increasing the rate of experience and fame gain, and it reduces resurrection penalties. Then we got Offensive Spell Mastery, increases the level of offensive magic and spells. Spells can be found or bought and fall under the spell tab. Blah blah blah, I don't use spells. I give my pet a couple of spells just to make it more potent, but other than that, I can't be asked. Chain Vortex, Phantasm. Phantasmal? What kind of word is that? Random gay stupid word that means spectral chain stun nearby foes. Uh, spectral echo, while active attacks cause a spectral echo to damage foes beyond their normal range, dealing 30% of weapons DPS. It's pretty cool. Critical strike increases the chance of and improves the damage of all critical strikes. What's this? Treasure hunter increases the chance to find magic items and potency when you can't. Uh, it's no point getting that because by the time we reach anywhere where uh, we can get decent magic items, we'll have tons of fucking gear and gems and rings and shit like that that increases our magic and gold find and shit. And devastate. You rush forward in a flurry of powerful attacks using all equipped melee weapons. Movement is toward the curse of draining mana as you go. Basically, he just sort of runs forward, damaging things as he hits them. Titan, Soul Rend, a powerful phantasm spectral blade, cleaves your foes. Uh, I'm pretty sure I went this time way when last time I tried to do this. Ah, uh, this is a good spell. Blast all nearby foes with shot grave that damages and knocks them back. Martial weapon expertise, mastery of sword axes, maces, and pole arms. Actually, this looks like good for me. Range weapon expertise, yep. Doom Quake, strike the ground, sending burning cracks outwards to pierce your foes. Defensive spell mastery, increases level of all defensive magic spells. Frost shield, a protective shield, absorbs physical and ele elemental damage and freezes foes who strike it. Barter, yeah, basically reduces purchase prices of merchants, enchanter and gamblers, improves the sale price of your own goods. Block and parry, increases the chance of block either with or without a shield. And seismic burst, a burst of energy crackles along the ground. Find it, flinging enemies from its path. And then we have Spectral, which basically is the summoning thing. Shadow Armor summons a phantasm which attacks nearby foes. In Tropical Aura, enemies near you are slow and sometimes interrupted. The aura lasts for two minutes. Armor Expertise. Mastery of all forms of armor reduces requirements of uh, armor absorption. Charm spell mastery increases the level of all charm spells. Spells can be found, blah blah blah. Shadow Bowman summon a phantasm which attacks foes at range with a spectral bow. Magic weapon expertise. Mastery of wands and stars that reduces requirements for rings and amulets. Amulets, not amulets. Yay, we're gonna wear a fucking egg amulet. Omelet, amulet. I can't even say anything properly now. Pet mastery, your affinity for animals increases your pet. A minion power and decreases the pet's town travel time. Aura of thorns, enemies near you incur entropic damage over time, the aura lasts for two minutes, only one aura, blah blah blah, whatever. Spectral, spectral decay, disrupts the armor of nearby foes, and find damage you deal to them. So basically what I'm going to be doing is in Mya, down to Mya, probably here Mya as well. Frost shield can go blow me. Uh, for anything I can't fit in there, I will probably slice into some minions down to Mya. To get Entropic Aura, Shadow Bone, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, I'm not entirely sure. All I know is that first my points are going to be put in there. Uh, as everyone knows, they can only be reached a certain level. Once they reach a certain level, I'll put them in here. It's a Spectral Titan. Alright, let's get on to it. Enough of dilly dallying. Hello there. Oh god, he doesn't speak. These monsters attack are disrupting my work. I am Vastman, a scholar of Ember. I travel to Torchlight to study the vast supply of Ember below, but these creatures make it impossible to obtain the samples I need. Perhaps you have more courage than these miners. If you are if you brave the tunnels and bring me a sample of gleaming ember, I will reward you well. It should not be difficult. Look for the ember on the first floor of the mine. First floor of the mine. That will give us a plus two critical hit ember. 
uh, or gem even. Uh, basically, yeah, exactly the same as uh, Diablo. You get items that are um, have sockets in them. Um, you pick up fine gems and bits of ember and shit like that to put in the sockets. And then you've got a couple of guys. Where are they? Oh, they're not here yet. Hello, friend. I cannot concentrate with these monsters, but if you have items to combine, you will have to come back another time. Yeah, basically they're all just introducing in themselves and saying. Good day. Ember is essential to my work, but these monsters are making it impossible to mine. I am Goron the Enchanter. For a price, I can imbibe your weapons. Oh, imbue your weapons. Imbibe? Imbue. Sounds better if you say imbibe. Whoever wrote this is a moron. I imbibe your weapons and armor with magic of ember. Be warned, ember is powerful and even I cannot predict its effect. Basically, all you do is go in there, save him a weapon, pay a certain amount of price, and there's a chance that you'll get a kick ass uh, enchantment, chance that you get a reasonable enchantment, chance that your weapon will just be destroyed. 